You ain't sorry. You made a fool out of me, son. Nobody was trying to make a fool out of you or hurt you. Really? You weren't trying to hurt me? No. No? While I was walking around with a cane, learning Braille, living my life in a black hole? You're stripping down my wife, you're taking her to bed, and you didn't want to hurt me? How long has this been going on? <laughs> How long? A while. What are we talking about here? What are, you, are we talking about weeks, months, uh, before, before I lost my sight? It yes, it matters. What matters is that I gave this woman right here every chance, every chance to walk away from our marriage. Hillary, didn't I? Didn't I? Man, you don't have to yell at her. No, it's okay. All right? It's okay. You did tell me more than once. Yeah, I did tell you. Why didn't you just go? Why did you stay? You know what you did by staying? You humiliated me. You needed me, okay? You just lost your sight. No, no, no. What I needed was a real wife. Someone to share my hopes and dreams with. Someone to share my life with. My bed with. Okay, listen, okay? We can talk about this. Let's just, let's just step away. You want me to step away? Yeah, of course you do, because this, all of this is starting to make sense to me. The excuses, right? All the tears. It was killing me that you needed me, and I, I couldn't. Uh, you, you couldn't love me? You, could, you couldn't make love to me? Because you were making love to my son. Neil. My son behind my back. Stop it, please. Oh, oh, my, oh, oh, my God. You, you, New York. That hotel room. The phone. That was Devon's ringtone. That was his phone. He was right there all along. He was sleeping with you hours before I slept with you. I am truly, truly sorry. Are you? Yes, I am. Did you tell Hillary that you love her? Why are you asking me that? Because I need to know, did you? Yes, I did. Mm. And were you lying when you said it? No. Mm. Were you planning on spending the rest of your life with her? Yes. And were you lying when you proposed to her, uh, uh, gave her that ring? No. And when you said all that, did you know that she was married to me. Yes, I did know that she was married to him. Yeah. Damn right you did. You were my best man, weren't you? You stood right next to me in that park while I exchanged my vows with Hillary. That was you, wasn't it? Yes, it was me. And I can't tell you how sorry I am when exactly was it that you started feeling sorry? Was it the first time that you kissed her? Was it the first time that you undressed her, touched her skin, made love to her? Or was it when you were planning to run away with her? Or wait, or when she ran away from you? You know the answer to this question. I sure do. I know you do because you live this when you do the same thing to your brother. And just like you, I'm going to find a way, somehow, no matter what it takes, to make this right with you man. over time. Hey, your time. Your time is up, man. If you can take all your sorries and all your, your regrets and stick them where the sun doesn't shine. I'm not going to give up on you and turn my back on my father. I'm not your dad. Yes, you are my dad. You're being stupid. How many times do I have to tell you? Why don't you tell me what I can do to make this right? <laughs> There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing you can do to make this right. But you, you can make it a little better. How? Take a drink. Take a little sip. Now do me a favor. Go to a liquor store. Buy a crazy expensive bottle of scotch. 
Go to a five-star hotel. Get a room there with your billions. Crack the bottle. Smell it. Pour a glass. Take a long drink. And keep drinking until that bottle is all gone. And grab another bottle and become a drunk. Just like your old man. And my gift to you can become your gift.